looks even more badass in person. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it, man. I knew it as soon as I saw it. We're starting the day off with Sarge. That means it's going to be a great day. We just got her all nice and cleaned up, although we have a little bit of weather in the forecast. We're cruising down to Maryland this morning to pick up some new toys. We wanted to get the truck nice and cleaned up because we know we stumble upon a lot of you guys out there cruising the highways of the Northeast. And, you know, we want to make sure that you guys see an accurate representation of Sarge. It's not the dirty one. And, well, if it gets dirty in the rain, then, hey, it is what it is. So, guys, I just want to let you all know, for the tech and tool bonus giveaway, if you enter over the next four hours, if you're watching this video on the 15th of June, you have about four hours left if you're catching this video at 8 p.m. If not, or if you are, you have an option, my friends, because... Tonight at midnight, the Tech and Tools bonus ends, but the 2021 Can-Am Renegade 1000 XXC 1000R bonus begins. So if you get entered at 12.01, you get two times entries for Sarge and $30,000 cash, plus one of you is going to be taking home that can-am renegade i just want to let you guys know that those things are extremely hard to find in the country right now and i'm very sad that that one's actually going to be departing the channel but i will be getting another one because the homestead absolutely needs it i've been riding it around a lot lately this is the first quad i've ever owned and it's probably going to be hard to own any others that aren't the exact same one after this because it's just set the bar so high this is a sport utility quad so you get all the benefits of four-wheel drive the ability to pretty much roll over and run through everything but it also rips it's a one I got this thing up to like 87 miles an hour in Mexico, of course, and it's got Fox shocks with resis in the front and the rear just like Sarge. Plus, I was stoked that I found this thing. It was in Kansas City. We had it shipped out because they're so hard to find in the country right now. It's a $16,000 quad. And one of you is going to be taking it home if you get entered while that promotion window is available. So Jake's grabbing some straps out of the LBZ. It may or may not be indicative of what we're picking up today, but you guys are going to have to wait to see a little bit later in the video. We are going to visit some of our friends down in Maryland. I've been very much looking forward to this day for a long, long time, and I cannot wait to reveal to you guys what it is that we're picking up. I just need to re-emphasize how good this truck drives. Guys, this Carly leveling kit with the Fox shocks and external reservoirs, unmatched, unmatched. Literally, the F450 stock, great. Drives good, but feels kind of like a solid actual truck. Now, this thing is just concrete. It's planted. It is so stable. And yeah, our, our, our speedometer is actually quite adjusted. Well, not adjusted, but it is adjusted my, mentally. Uh, with the 37s on this thing, we're actually going about 10 miles an hour faster than the speed limit says right now. So you just kind of have to be mindful that we could get it recalibrated. That takes all the fun out of it. It literally drives so good. I cannot wait for you to grab the wheel and experience it for yourself. So if there's one thing you guys don't know about Jake, he's full of random knowledge. <laughs> yes, random useless <laughs> facts that you'll never need to know in your real life. He always cracks me up when he's bringing me all this information that I never knew I needed to know. Want to know the most current piece of information? He's editing my phone to make a noise when he plugs it in. And unplug it. I made it better than mine. You can do it when you plug it in and unplug it. So this is what happens when you plug it in. Oh, that nice. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And then when you unplug it. Wow, that was nice. <laughs> wow, that was nice. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if this one should go on YouTube. <laughs> Your wife is gonna look at you and be like, excuse me? Dude, Sarge is such an animal. I can't candidly capture all the reactions that this thing sparks. You're just gonna have to find out for yourself when you take it home. Every single time that we notice somebody grilling this, I mean, we literally had somebody stop on the highway. Like, on ramp. On the on ramp of the highway. He had freaking traffic behind him and he goes with his cell phone. And then I put the window down, he goes, that B is tough. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. I loved every single second of driving this truck down here because it's a beautiful day. I should turn the rock lights off so I don't forget and drain the battery. Luckily, this big old beast has two of them and they're LEDs, so it's not like they're gonna drain all that quickly, but we are back at JT Motorsports, my friends. We're picking up some goodies today. Ooh, I'm excited. We decided to bring Sarge not only because it's been crappy out the last few days and it's, and it's beautiful weather forecasted today, but we're also gonna need the eight foot bed. I wonder what we could be picking up today. Maybe one things, maybe one things. Mopeds. Maybe, maybe one thing, right maybe two things. Ooh, what are we looking at here, my friends? That could be it, that could not be it. I don't know, only time will tell. 
What's up, Zach? Welcome What's up, back dude? to the vlog, bro. <laughs> Yo, this is, this is the man right here. The man, the myth, the legend down at JT Motorsports. Zach has been a fundamental connection that we made when we bought the EXCF 500 that we gave away from Dream Diesel giveaway number 17. And well, today we're not here to pick up one, but we're here to actually pick up two. But it's not this Renegade. Remember how I literally just said in the beginning of the video that the Renegade XXC 1000Rs are super hard to come by? We'll come to find out they actually have one here. It's available as of this video going live, but it probably won't be available for a very long. They literally got it here last night. They imported it in for a customer, and then the customer actually backed out and ended up going with something else. But believe me when I tell you, I wouldn't make that up. They're so hard to find right now in the country. This one's already going to be sold by the time this video goes live, but you could win one if you decide to get entered for it. So ladies and gentlemen, we are here today looking at not one, but two bikes that we're picking up from KTM. I'm so freaking excited about this, guys. Right here is my moto bike. Yes, boys, we're finally getting back into the sport. I'm super excited about it. When we picked up that EXCF, my moto enthusiasts were like, yo, bro, that's not an actual dirt bike. And at the time, Zach can verify for me, we had the discussions. It was happening. <laughs> it's just that we needed to be patient. This is a 2022 350 SXF. Pretty much one of the first ones that you guys got. Thanks to this guy right here. So JT Motorsports moves a ton of KTMs. Unfortunately, they get an early allocation and we got one of the freshies right here, boys. I'm so excited about it. You have no idea. I don't want to take away and discredit this 350 because this thing is an absolute savage. That orange frame looks amazing for the 2022 model year, but we may or may not have also picked up another toy. At the same time, this is a KTM 690 Supermoto. Oh my God, dude. This thing looks absolutely insane. That's, that's, what, that's what people are really, bro. Oh my God. An SMCR. This is the Super Moto 690. So essentially just the KTM EXCF 500, except it comes with more street oriented tires, street oriented suspension. It's definitely got a different frame, different design. It's not as much dirt bike. It's definitely more street oriented Supermoto. So we pretty much have the best Supermoto street style kind of dirt bike that you can get. And then arguably one of the best dirt bikes that money can buy, especially for an old man like me, the 350, getting that lightweight feel of the 250, but with some of that torque of the 450. I am so freaking excited, guys. You have no idea. So boys and girls, there are some other early allocations here right now, 2022. So anybody from the area that might be looking for a 350 and a 450, they're still available. They're not spoken for. I'm gonna link JT Motorsports down in the description below. You guys can check out their inventory if you're in the market for a new bike. Definitely ask for Zach if you work your way over here. Super good dude and just genuine genuine enthusiasts in these parts. That's why we're coming back. And you know what? These guys definitely earn my business because of that reason. They're just super freaking down to earth. Oh my God, an SX bike. We're back in the game, guys. This is crazy. I feel like I'm so old. It's been such a long time since I've had a dirt bike, but man, this thing is just gonna be the beginning of getting back into really kind of what started my love for motors, for everything, cars. It was funny, like dirt bikes was before cars. Cars happened as kind of a graduation of the motors that I got familiar with, with these dirt bikes. And then it got in the trucks and man i'd always appreciated trucks because when you go to the track man everybody is in to their rigs whether it's truck and trailer set up like that motor home whatever the case might be everyone gets into it man and this is going to be absolutely awesome and then i figured i had one 690 left these things are also extremely hard to come by and i kind of just couldn't say no would you look at this bike check out that massive oversized front rotor these things are so aggressive with their black forks. The styling on these with the orange frame is just absolutely awesome. It's like an orange, gray, and black theme. That frame and configuration, look at how everything is mashed up in there. KTM, baby, this is just absolutely awesome. It's very much inspired by a dirt bike, but it is meant to actually pioneer the road that much better. The EXCF 500 did an amazing job of that. It's just this thing is a little bit more stable. The tank is actually in the back, which is kind of interesting. So it may or may not be an even better wheelie machine, which could or could not be a good thing. We'll have to see what happens there. But seeing these two bikes side by side, oh my God, I am so excited. Today is a great day, my friends. It also has traction control, just like the 350 does. And it's got two modes. It's got a lower power and a full power mode. And it's even got that tiny little baby stubby front fender, dude. That is so cool. And ABS, as a matter of fact. Look at the tech on these bikes. KTMs just do it right, my friends. Fire up, brother. So quiet. Yeah. You expect like, blah, 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 but no. Yeah. Let's 
map one and map two like make a pretty significant difference. Yeah, it's just a little bit more aggressive. Because it definitely felt like a little reserved. Yeah, if you burn the hell out of the clutch, you probably pull it up the board. Yeah. That way you Are you serious? serious? Yeah, no way. Holy crap. Just ride the hell out of the clutch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got burned it pretty bad. Alright, uh, you guys ready to tackle this thing here? Yeah. Alright, Jake, come on up. <laughs> One, two, three. Yo, we should totally get one of these. They're sweet. Whoa, look at the color scheme on that thing. <laughs> That's actually sick. Is that a turbo too? Yeah, it sounded like it, yeah. So, uh... It's got a trail. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's got some race gas in it. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Dude, this is a combo right here, man. Thanks, sir. Boys, would you just take a look at this setup? What would you say if you saw this rig with these bikes cruising down the road? The first thing that would come to my mind is that man knows how to do it right. Not only does he get himself some clean bikes, he's got himself one hell of a clean truck. As I thought more and more after what I mentioned inside about the fact that like dirt bikers had these badass rigs, I remember right when the 6.4 F450 came out, I saw a brand new one pull up. Top trim, I think it was like King Ranch or you know Platinum at the time, if they even had Platinum back then. It was a top trim truck, had a bunch of chrome on it and stuff like that. I remember looking at that truck and saying, man, one day I will own one of those. They just look so good. And now here we are a few years later with one of the most badass F450s that I've ever seen in my entire life. Obviously I'm a little biased, but man, I'm telling you what, it is just a match made in freaking heaven, man. My goodness, 350 and a 690 KTM in the back, 21 and a 22. This thing's literally hot to the touch right now. Now, you know that. She's hot, dude. She's hot. Just look at it. <laughs> would, you, would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? Look at it. <laughs> if I saw this cruising down the road, man, it would just make my day, to say the least. And that being said, let's get in route, boys. Thanks again to Zach over at JT Motorsports. Definitely hit him up if you are considering money well wasted, my friends. Continue the evolution of the forecast here on the vlog. Humidity equals one thing later in the day, and that is rain. Massive rain drop. Wow, they're huge. <laughs> We're in danger. All right, finally, we can record a highway encounter. Check these dudes out. I just put the camera on him and he was like... <laughs> you can't see me, you can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> I am... Putting up a divider. <laughs> Best barbed wire around the lumber yard, man. I can't believe they don't have like razor wire, electric fence, and arm security, dude. That's like billions of dollars in lumber right there. If you guys want to bring some to uh, my house, just think about it. Okay. Road trip things. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts to smile. Must admit, I'm a huge fan of the new Denali SUVs. They look really, really good. The big grill just does something for me. And then they've got that whole turn signal. It's an actual switchback. Factory switchback. Bro, that looks identical to the, the HD. Oh, bike. shit, dude. We missed the whole line. We're over here, <laughs> Dude behind us is like, yo. Oops, <laughs> sorry. I'm in charge and in charge. Everything's fine. It's a factory switchback. Dude, GM, doing it right. We might have to consider that for something in the future. That looks even more badass in person. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it, man. I knew it as soon as I saw it. Hell yeah, brother. We appreciate Thank you, dude. Have a good weekend. You too. Take it easy. I freaking love our subscribers, man. Hell yeah, man. Made a quick pit stop to say hi to our friends over here at Lime Ridge Automotive. We got Sam's Denali over here looking freaking amazing. We may or may not have a new truck that's gonna be arriving here on the channel sometime soon. Jake, how how long would you estimate? How long? My watch here. Maybe about a week, week and a half. Week, week and a half. So something you guys definitely want to stay tuned for. Also, whoa, that GMC looks really, really good. I like that. That's also a pretty cool truck. I don't know about the fender flares, but ooh, no, it looks good though. I mean, I, I can, I can dig it though. I can get down. I really like that painted four-wheel drive valence. Yeah, it just needs some fortune watts. Wow. This would have been a very nice tool 
for my conduit line the other day. But the excavator worked well. Lime Ridge is really evolving. It is so cool to see them expanding into the new building there behind us. A lot of very big changes here in the next coming months. I cannot wait to reveal it to you guys. It is going to evolve so much from the way that it used to look. Ah, we're seeing all of our favorite people today. Dave from E-Town Auto Works. He actually just recently fixed the AC on the Corvette. I really yeah. appreciate that. Come to find out, I think a few of the spirited poles actually just dis disconnected the electric line to it. Yep, that was basically <laughs> all it was. Yeah, it was a completely fine compressor. The compressor clutch was completely fine. The fuses were fine and come to find out it was unplugged. <laughs> yep. Okay. So we're gonna warm up the C7 as a token of my appreciation. We gotta take Dave for a ride. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> And a cold start from a distance. We'll know if the valves are open or not. Oh yeah, they're definitely open, my friend. Oh, it sounds so good. It's a nice day. We'll pull the top off. You've been in some fast cars, right? A couple. I've ridden with like Justin Z06, and that makes like 600. It's okay. A little lighter. That'll it's that'll feel close. like very similar to this. Ah, dude, that AC feels so nice, my man. A lot of people don't realize in these Corvettes, although we have the target top, it the motor is like over your legs. So inherently the firewall just gets so warm and even like, you just kind of have to run the AC on your legs. Otherwise it's like uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> that is probably one thing I would miss with a McLaren. I although know! The, McLaren, the sound of a germ, you can't beat an American muscle. It's just like, I feel like I have a continuous American flag behind me when I'm driving this thing. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that. That is all rain right over there. Like hell yeah, brother. Back at you. <laughs> oh, we're soon to arrive in Mexico here, ladies and gentlemen. That was a quick trip. God, that goes so fast. It must have something to do with this year six. Definitely. Oh, that is sick. Boy, you're gonna get a first gear torque snap too. She's an animal, that is for sure. And uh, Jake, I left the keys in it for you, brother. Tops <laughs> off, enjoy. See you in like three, four hours? <laughs> okay, not that long. It needs gas, so don't get too, over, too, don't get too ahead of yourself. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> the woods feel so alive because of this cicada scenario. It is crazy. Man, look at this setup right now. It's like a brandy spanking new dirt bike showroom in here. JT Motorsports, you guys better watch out. I'm coming for you. Literally. <laughs> this is amazing. Look at these two bikes next to each other. There's just nothing that beats a brandy spanking new motorcycle. Man, and a brandy spanking new dirt bike at that. You guys have no idea how excited I am about acquiring both of these beautiful pieces of engineering at the same time. Jake is very much embracing this slight sense of race gas that actually come from the factory in these KTM motorcycles, but we uh, won't be seeing that one on a track anytime soon. Can't me being me and doing what I do best, there <laughs> are some stuff, there's some yes. stuff that we need to do. Yes, things and stuff and such. Yep, you know. exactly guys. We need to actually do some things to that bike before it's even ready. And to my true motocrossers out in the audience, you guys might know exactly what I'm talking about. Not gonna elaborate on that in this video per se, but there are some very fundamental things that one must do before one can take said vehicle out on a track. And from the factory, it actually comes with like, that slot these one. like high, they call them high flow or whatever. So we're gonna get some things made for this thing. Easy. Comes with a vented cover. As a matter of fact, I don't know if it makes that much of a difference, but we'll probably put it on because mods. 
<laughs> so it's pretty cool actually. KTM acquired Husqvarna and Gas Gas over the last few years. So it's kind of like a three tiered approach. KTM being kind of like the elite or like the good, better, best strategy. KTM being best, Husqvarna being better, and then Gas Gas being good, but they're really all the same things. They just make minor revisions from bike to bike. But this one comes with like the factory Excel wheels, the oversized front rotor. It comes with the factory orange powder coated frame. New for this year, which is pretty cool. Uh, they did change up some of the graphics and the plastics and the seat cover as a matter of fact. So it looks a lot different. It does come with the anodized black factory triple clamps, which is pretty neat. Blue seat cover with the gripper seat bars. It has white on the back, which is kind of cool. They almost somewhat robbed that from Husqvarna. You guys know that I very much love white vehicles. So I really like the fact that my dirt bike has white on it. I think it's kind of a cool color scheme with the blue, the orange and the white. It's interesting. They actually got rid of the gray, which was on the 2021 versions. That's a 21. This is a 22. And then the orange frame to my true dirt bike enthusiasts, as I recently learned as a new KTM owner, recent KTM owner, the orange frame is indicative of a major change happening in the following manufacturer year. So if I was a betting man, I'd say in 2023, they're going to make a major revision or overhaul to the current model year. The KTM does very much come hooked up from the factory. It's really, really cool. They, they just kind of think through a lot of their engineering. They have a factory hydraulic clutch. Pretty much every bike does now. I'm somewhat dated. Like that wasn't the case 10 years ago when I used to ride Hondas. I still love Hondas, but JT Motorsports is just awesome. And that's what sold me on KTM. They're just super good guys. This thing comes with a uh, factory programmable mode. So there's a mode one and two traction control. And then if you lock both of these buttons in, it actually has launch control. This little orange light will flash. It's got a remote start, no more Kickstarter, which is pretty cool for old men like me. The Excel rims that are black are neat. The polished hubs look super good. And it does have a factory arrow meter, which is pretty cool. I used to have to add those to my bikes when they were brand new. One of the big things that I'm gonna have to get accustomed to is the air fork. I used to ride spring forks traditional. It seems like that's really what the uh, market still prefers, riders prefer. But I'm gonna have to say we'll get things adjusted in. We'll set the sag. We'll do all that good stuff and take it out and ride it for a little while while. I do have some pretty sick custom graphics that I have in store for this guys. I will show you those later in time. My old number used to be 286. So you damn near bet your bippy that we're putting that number on this bike. Bet your sweet bippy we are. <laughs> and then as far as the 690, I don't know. I think I want to do some number plates on this thing as well. It's pretty cool that it already comes with these factory black handguards, very similar to the ones that came on the EXCF 500. You mean cicada shields. The cicada shields for this time of the year. Very, very stubby front fender, headlight, Love the black tubes on the front forks. That looks amazing. The orange, black, and gray color scheme on this bike looks incredible. I love the KTM grips. Also hydraulic clutch, same programmable electronic controls, ABS that you can enable and disable. We've got all of our minimal lights. And then a very fun fact about this is the gas tank is actually in the rear on this bike making it what would be a wheelie monster. Definitely a little bit heavier than that of your traditional dirt bike. Can't wheelie this one as easy, but practice will bring very good things. And then the exhaust is actually on the opposing side, on the left side versus the right side of the motorcycle. And I think the frame, what's that? 771. 771, cool. Already comes with the Supermoto tires and wheels, smaller, big oversized front caliber, big oversized front caliper. And then it's neat how KTM really kind of thought through like the color scheme. They have a little bit of white tucked in here and a little bit of white on the front. Little things go a very long way. These Austrians doing what they do best. They definitely thought through these bikes without a question of a doubt. So boys and girls, that's where we're gonna wrap up this upload. Man, it has been a fun day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Grab some two times entries for Sarge, 30 grand, and that Renegade XXC1000R. It's gonna be going to one of you guys. Decide to enter for it, it could be you. See you all in the next upload. See you guys. <laughs>